Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play called Nelly Kutalat, The Foul Fleet. This is a early access game on Steam right now, guys, brought to you by application system Heidenberg. It sells normally for $19.99, although right now, because it just came out, they have a 15% uh, deal off on the game, so you'll get it for $16.99 if you uh, watch this video when I release it. Uh, if you're watching it months later, that may have fluctuated a little bit, come up, come down in price. Uh, it is going to be a uh, click adventure. If you're trying to think of other games out there like it, think of like Monkey Island, Maniac Mansion, or Day of the Tentacle, that type of game. It uh, looks incredibly awesome. I can't wait to get into this. And the voice acting, guys. The voice acting looks just and sounds amazing from what I've seen so far. So I have not hit the button to, to go into the adventure yet. We're going to be doing it uh, together and just uh, seeing what this game has to offer. And if I sound excited, I definitely am because I love games like this. It brings me back to the ones that I grew up playing. So without any further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and start the game. Once in a distant time and place, a great pirate sailed the oceans. Against the waves of villainy, she alone defended all creatures tiny and adorable. Led by her spiritual mentor, William Bloodbeard, she fought the malevolent machinations of Baron Widebeard, who was a wrongan by all accounts. And now, we join the fearsome Nelly Coutelot in the midst of a turbulent sea battle. I'll have you licked, and now I'll send you to the tumultuous depths. Nelly, stop talking to the stamps. Get back to work. <laughs> I'm sick of working on the mail ship undeliverable. What kind of life is this for a fearsome pirate captain? But I suppose I better start cleaning. Mr. Johnson doesn't like the sorting room left messy. I'm not doing anything right now. This is still the game right here, guys. So left click on the mop to interact with it. Go ahead and hit the continue button. Now, uh, before we click on the mop, I'm just going to take a look around. We got sorted mail over here on the side. I do not have my cursor on the game, although you might be able to see it, actually, because it does kind of show up on the image there. Let's see. We got a lantern up here. What if I click on that? Nothing? It's not the kind of lantern you carry around. Okay, so if you right click on it, it gives you a little description. Ugh, so many stamps, so many letters, so many packages. So many paper cuts. <laughs> okay. Let's see up here on the top. Nothing there. Sorted mail. We got a porthole over here. Water, water everywhere. The ancient mariner's fate is why I lead an albatross friendly lifestyle. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sorted mail. Envelope. Yeah, let's look at the envelope. It's a padded envelope. Presumably for criminally insane letters. According to the tag, it's going to Port Rubicant. <laughs> I've had it in a envelope for a criminally insane. I like it. Uh, the humor is uh, right Not up. now. I should be cleaning up. Okay, so she doesn't want us to check that. What about crate label? The label says it's going to the Dulwich Box Museum. Now, I am the type of guy who will search everything uh, that I can get my hands on. Let's see. We'll click over here and see what might be on this side. We got a letter opener. It's parcel tape, which I think is tape that can speak to snakes. <laughs> okay, so Harry Potter fans. My stainless steel letter opener. All right, let's see. Can we keep coming over here? Let's see if there's anything a little further over. Nope, nothing. Okay, so we're going to go pick up the mop. You know, games like this, they actually, uh, you know, reward you for looking around. But, you know, since we're early on in the game, we can't really do a lot yet. So let's go ahead and click on the mop. The mop head looks like a dried out squid. Let's see what happens here. <gasps> the water's all funny, like it's boiling. In Bloodbeard. Left click on Bloodbeard to talk to him, okay. Nelly Coatalot, you have failed me. What are you on about? As if I have. Have you forgotten your last quest? Uh, of course I remember, or yeah, remind me again. We're gonna go with uh, remind me again, because I have no idea what her last quest yeah, was. Yeah, remind me again? You rescued a flock of spoonbeaks from the clutches of Baron Widebeard. I did? Aye, but you missed a secret message written in pirate code. Oh. It should have led you to the treasure of the Seventh Sea. 
but you gave the secret to Baron Widebeard. Uh, what's the Baron up to, or what can I do for you? What's the treasure of the Seventh Sea? Uh, I kind of want to go with the treasure of the Seventh Sea, but maybe go with a little bit more background information. What's the Baron up to? He's probably going for the treasure. What's the Baron up to? I know not what he's plotting, but I foresee many innocent birds be perishing. Birds hate perishing! <laughs> What's, the, What's treasure? the treasure of the Seventh Sea? It'd be a priceless treasure the Baron has coveted all his life. Lost in the wreck of his ship, the sweet Mary. I should not say more. I meant to be haunting a house in New England. What can I do? Begin yonder. The Baron was lately in port rubicund. Follow Whitebeard's trail and avert disaster. And now my time ends. Fare ye well. But... Go, Nelly. You must stop my treacherous brother. Wait! Since when is Baron Whitebeard his brother? <laughs> okay, look for a way to port Rubicon. Right-click to examine Nelly's surroundings. Press spacebar to see what Nelly can interact with. So let's go ahead and hit the spacebar. Okay, I like that. It shows everything that she can click on right there. Of course, you have to kind of hold it down for a few seconds. Let's uh, grab the envelope since we know that's probably something we're going to want to keep. I'll take the tag. Okay, she just wants the tag on that. See what Nelly is carrying. Move the cursor to the bottom of the screen. So if we come down here uh, and it picks it up for us, can we check it? Uh, yeah, so it is a tag for Port Rubicon. Maybe we can attach that to something down the road. I don't the want road. the envelope. It's full of pen nibs or something. Oh, right. Can we take the mop? Too busy to clean. Let's look around. What about the lantern? Nothing? Uh, it's what not the kind of lantern you carry around. Oh, you know what? We could switch the tag on this crate and maybe get inside the crate itself. Mine. Let's see. What does the other tag say? Will it let us go down? Tag to Dulwich. Okay. What about the big old what crate? What a spacious looking crate. I bet we can get inside that. Let's come over here to the side. I want to grab that letter opener and that tape if we can. I could use this to stab things. <laughs> this, oh man, she's just a, she's a pirate. Sticky, sticky. All right, anything else? Uh, megaphone? That's so the postmaster can shout at me. Let's hit the space bar just in case. Ah, so we do got some bags over here. Let's They're take a look at that. They're made of burlap, which is a funny word. I'm not allowed to open them. All right, and then we can take a look That's at... Rubikind. Okay, let's come back over here, and I think we're going to try using the letter opener on the box. Let's see what a letter opener can do. Hopefully it can pry it loose a little bit so we can get inside. Yeah, there it we worked, go. But it twisted up the letter opener pretty badly. Okay, so we kind of lost that. Let's see, what about the tag? We're going to put that on there. That's perfect, but it won't stick on the crate by itself. Okay, so we got tape for that. Sometimes Nelly needs to combine items in her inventory. Use the port Rubicon tag with something that makes it sticky. So we're going to use the parcel tape. There we go. And now, oh, but we lost the entire roll of parcel tape. Dang, that's crazy. Okay, let's put that on there. Now the crate's going to port Rubikind. And we're going with it, guys. Whenever I'm going on holiday, I always think I've forgotten something. Well, let's give it a try. Did we forget something? There might be something else here we could have done. Oh, no. Okay, well, we just have to kind of chill. Now I remember. Air holes. I'd better do something. Uh, can we use the, the dagger? This might work. Oh, look and at now that. now I wait in a state of constant readiness. Because it got twisted up and became like a drill. That's actually kind of clever. I like that. <laughs> okay, so she's just going to take a nap. Just going to get some sleep, guys. Hard worker. Now, I have played plenty of games like this in the past, so I might do fairly well, although I'm pretty sure I'll get stuck at some point. So we got Meanwhile. What's going on? This old hulk is so dreadfully squalid and damp, and my dress is fraying. I might as well put on a burlap sack. Are you even listening, Whitebeard? Hmm? No, of course, of course, my little trebuchet. Jeez, look at that My no-good brother's treasure is just over the horizon. Once it's ours, I will buy you all the burlap sacks you want. <laughs> but... You're right, my Iron Maiden. Fast things fast. El Mono. 
begin the incantation. So his eyes were blotted out and his mouth as well. Explain yourself, pirate. What have you done with my consignment of pen nibs? Um, nothing. There isn't a single pen nib in Port Rubicon, thanks to you. Do you realize what this means? You'll have to use pencils? Huh, I have my pride. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's do the space bar just to kind of get a look around and see what we can click on. We got the ship and the... Uh, let's look at the ship. Fine vessels. Uh, nothing quite there. What do we got? Tar over here? Let's take a look at that. A bucket of tar. I mean, oh tar. Okay, if I need some tar, I know where to find it. Okay, so we can't just pick up everything in the game. We have to know what we need it for first. Uh, we're going to go take a walk over here. We should talk to her before we leave the screen, but... The Commodore's locked it. Let's see, can we get inside? That's the Commodore's cabin. How about the roof? It's the roof of the Commodore's cabin. The window is open. Can we... I can't see through it. Maybe, From here, at maybe least. we can go up to the mast over here. There's a crow's nest above the crossbar. Throw a, you know, I don't know, anchor or something over there uh, and maybe be able to get inside. But we're going to talk to her first. Let's see what she has to say. Actually, let's look at her first if we can. All right, new she looks formidable. Uh, there is an egg down here. I didn't even look at looks that. Looks like an egg in a sailor's hat. Can we snag it? I'd better not disturb the egg. No, we can't snag that. Okay, so yeah, let's talk to her. Uh, are you in charge? I'm looking for Baron Whitebeard or Goodbye Commodore. So let's see, are you in charge? Are you in charge? I am the Commodore. I catalog everyone and everything that enters or leaves Port Rubicon. Or I would if the dratted pen nibs had arrived. <laughs> Never heard of a pen nib before, but I'm guessing that's the English version of just being pens, right? Uh, what's all this about pen nibs? What's all this about pen nibs? Port Rubicon is experiencing the worst pen nib shortage these 40 years. It's utter, utter chaos. Evidently. I'm looking for the Baron. I'm looking for Baron Whitebeard. Well, now, there was a Baron here. He was one of the runners of the blasted Toff races. What happened to him? If memory serves, he set sail in the Heartless yesterday. I'd better find out where the Baron is heading and give chase. Hold your horses. Have you taken the King's shilling? I never touched it. You can't prove nothing. I knew you weren't legitimate merchant navy. Unless you've taken the king's shilling, you can't sail from my port. Okay, so it's more of a test or a piece of paper or something. Where was the heartless bound? Can you give me the king's shilling? What are the tough races? I bet we're going to have to go through those races. Let's ask her where he was bound. Where was the heartless bound? Hmm, can't recall. Don't you keep a log? Absolutely. The ledger is in my office. Can I have a look? Absolutely not. The office is closed because of the pen nib crisis. Are you sure you can't remember where Whitebeard went? Are you sure you can't remember where Whitebeard went? I told you, it's logged in my office. Your office, which is closed. Yes. <laughs> okay, we gotta get in there somehow. Let's ask her about the Toff races first. What are the Toff races? They're out of my jurisdiction over in that cave. Penniless aristocrats humiliating themselves in public. A vulgar entertainment for the lowest class of person. Sounds great. Uh, let's ask her about the king's shilling. Can you give me the king's shilling? You, a purloiner of pen nibs. No officer would accept a brigand like you in the merchant navy. We'll see about that. Okay, so let's tell her goodbye. Goodbye, Commodore. Dismissed. And we're going to have to take a look around. I mean, we've looked at everything here on the map, so we're going to have to uh, leave the screen and see if we can find something else. Okay, so we do got a cave over here. Let's move a little bit further over. Press the space bar. We can come down here and talk to the guy. Look at the fruit trees, palm trees Coconut up here. palms. There we go. And I think we're going to come over here and talk to this guy. A wooden plank. Type B9, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Slightly wider than the more common B10s. Okay, I mean... An honest sailor by the look of him. Yeah, I'm not going to be fooled by that. I bet you more than anything, he's, he's going to have something to do with this. So, uh, who are you and what are you doing here? Have you seen the Baron? What's the crack with the Toff races? Can you give me the King's shilling? Who are you and what are you doing here? Jack Tar, and I'm just standing on the beach. 
Standing on the beach, eh? That's the life. Aye, it is. Yep. Seriously, why are you here? Well, uh, it's a little embarrassing. Ah, uh, come on, you can tell me, a fellow beach stander? Come on, you can tell me, a fellow beach stander. Well, have you heard of Maritime Magazine? The nautical periodical? Of course. I'm gonna be on the cover of the next issue. Well done, mate. Aye, except... Except what? Except... Um... Come on, Beachy's Dandy, tell me. They want me to do it with my shirt off? And? I... I don't have any chest hair. <laughs> um, sorry, uh, I just remembered something funny that happened when I was... <laughs> at a crown's funeral? A clown's funeral? No, that's not gonna be... At the Ministry of Tickling, a uh, codpiece... No. At the annual review of the Financial Service Regulator. Yeah, that is right up their alley. The annual review of the Financial Services Regulator. Huh? Remind me, why won't you go shirtless? Uh, so we're gonna have to get him some hair, I guess. Have you seen the Baron? Have you seen Baron Whitebeard? Describe him? Well, he's a Baron. Yeah? With a very wide beard. I do know a Marquis with a very small beard. That's probably not him. <laughs> okay, what's the crack with the Toff races? What's the crack with the Toff races? Well, I'd stay away from there, miss. The folk in there are lacking in moral fiber. Don't worry about me. I'm chock full of moral fiber. Plus ethical multivitamins. Oh my god. Okay, can you give me the king's can shilling? Can you give me the king's shilling? No, miss. You need the top dude for that. Hmm. Okay, let's tell goodbye. him goodbye. Later. Let's see, can we take the board? It's nice to collect things when you're walking on a beach. Oh, we sure can. And where did she put it, guys? I mean, come on. Seriously. Uh, let's come over here and see if there's anything on the other side of him. Nope, just the cave. So let's take a look at the cave, guys. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a pretty cool game so far, guys. I'm liking it. I do want to see a little bit more, though. I want to see, uh, you know, the difficulty part where we start solving some of these puzzles. Oh, no. And they're off. <laughs> what is it? Is it a treadmill? Oh, look at that. Oh. Habanera does it again. We're going to have to... Uh... Oh, look at the white beard was up there at the very top, and he's not here right now, so he's not competing. Let's see. Let's look at the Some racetrack. Some kind of mechanical racetrack? It has the Baron's face on it. Let's see. Oh, we got an anchor down here. I reckon this must have washed up here. Just what we need, actually. Nah. It's all rotten and rusted. Ah, uh, well, we could use it if we have a rope to throw through that window. What else do we have? We have some people over here we can talk to. Let's look at the I odds. I don't think that will work. I reckon those are the odds. The W-O-E, whoever that is, is a 50 to 1 odd to win. That's the old guy down here on the bottom. Yeah, everybody else is pretty good odds, though. 1 to 1, 2 to 1, and the uh, wide beard was a 1 to 1 as well, so he's uh, pretty fast. No wonder we can't catch One him. One of the gamblers. Let's talk to her and see what she says before we talk to the... Who were you back in? Count Habanera, of course. Oh, right, so... Let's see. Let's talk to this guy. Spending their children's room money. <laughs> I shouldn't disturb them. They look mean. Aw, oh, come on, disturb them. I shouldn't them. disturb them. They look mean. Oh, right, all right. Let's come over here and talk the to this guy. Down heel gambling den denizen. He's blocking the way through the curtain. Let's see what he has to say. A little doorman reading some kind of newspaper, maybe? What's the password? Uh, open up. Let us in. Melon. Never mind. I bet none of those are right, but let's go with melon. Melon. Nerd. <laughs> Let us in. Let us in. No way. Yeah, we, we... Open up. Nope. We don't know the password yet, so it's not showing up Never here. mind. All right, let's look at the door behind I him. I wonder what's behind the curtain. Probably a bunch of little mice or something doing the whole running for him. Let's go up here and talk to uh, Lucky Jack. The barman looks a bit gloomy. <laughs> He's stuck up here all by himself, I imagine so. Uh, what's your story? Tell me about the Baron. How often, or how do you, uh, the top races work? Stay lucky, Lucky. 
So let's uh, ask him about his story first. If we get to know him, maybe we can open up some more dialogue. What's your story? Me? I'm just a two-time loser serving drinks. Three-time loser if you count Lehman Brothers. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what drinks have you got? What drinks have you got? Take a look at the shelf. What takes your fancy? Uh, what's crab juice? Well, we're going to go through each and every single one of these because I bet you more than anything, if we can get the right drink, we might be able to give it to the doorman and have him pass out on us. So let's look around. Let's try the very first one. Crab, juice. crab juice. Like a crab, but runnier. Yeah. Yeah. Want to try some? No. No. That's all right. Let's see. What drinks, what drinks have, you have you got? Take a look at the shelf. What takes you fancy? What about the uh, Houston Slammer? What's Houston Slammer? Moonshine from a Texan prison. Goes down smooth, like a lethal injection. Um... Wanna try some? Sure. Yep. Cheers. Oh, let's see what happens. Hmm, <laughs> that's quite... Oh, no, actually, no. Ugh. Okay, so, uh, did we get it? I think we did. So it went down into our inventory there. Let's, uh... What drinks have you got? Take a look at the shelf. What takes you fancy? Take a look at some of the other one. Butterscotch? What's butterscotch? Just scotch with a knob of butter in it. Delicious. Want to try some? Mmm, okay. Yep. Cheers. I wonder if we can have one of each drink or if we can only have one drink Ugh, at a time. Not for Nelly. Yep, it went down there as well. Let's uh, stay lucky, stay lucky. Stay lucky, lucky. Okay, so we do have both of them down here. I wonder if there's a number on the limit to how many drinks we can have. But let's go through what it. What drinks have you got? Go through every Take single one of them. Take a look at the shelf. What takes you fancy? What about the jalapeno tincture? What's jalapeno tincture? Firewater. The fumes alone will take your eyebrows off. Want to try some? Sure. Yep. That sounds perfect to give to that guy down there, actually. Cheers. Because the, the Texas one, the Houston one, is... Uh, <laughs> Ooh, spicy. Sounds a little bit too what deadly. What have you got? Take a look at the shelf. What takes you fancy? Uh, how about the uh, wheatgrass rum? What's wheatgrass rum? I don't know. No one's ever ordered it. Want to try some? Does he not know what it is? He makes it. Yep. Cheers. <laughs> Ugh. Naughty, naughty wheatgrass. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you would what not catch me drinking that one. Take a look at the shelf. What takes you fancy? How about, uh, what spider? What's spider? Well, that's just a glass with a spider under it. I'm afraid to let him out. Mmm. Okay, so we can't take that one. Let's ask about, uh, the Baron. Tell me about Baron Whitebeard. Whitebeard? That guy sure was a runner. I'll wager you never saw the like. I didn't think Whitebeard was an athletic type. Didn't think Whitebeard was the athletic type. What he lacked in physique, he made up for in hustle, gumption, moxie. But he ran out. Of old-timey words? Nah, he hit the jackpot. Then, splits fell. Yeah, he cheated. So let's ask him, uh, he's gone to Splitsville. Oh my god, no. Let's ask him about the jackpot. He hit the jackpot? He had odds of one to one. He'd never lost a race. Then, one day, bam, he comes in last. But his wife placed a bet against it. She cleaned up, and they both cleared out. Wow. Nice of her to clean up, though. <sighs> uh, yeah, a little naive, apparently, but how is that not obvious? How does nobody see that he did it on purpose? Okay, but we'll go with, uh, he's gone to Splitsville? Be a little bit more naive? He's gone to Splitsville? I mean, he hopped the coal train out of here. I thought he left by boat. I mean, he's gone. Okay, uh, what about the top races? How do the top races work? The cream of disgraced aristocracy put shoe leather to treadmill in a 24 karat blue blooded steeplechase. Pick a winner, place your bet, no refunds. Have you ever won big? Have you ever won big? Nah, you gotta be real savvy to make the big money. Real smart. At least that's what my homeopathic life coach says. Unbelievable. Okay, so let's go with that what last drink. Have you got? Take a look at the shelf. What takes you fancy? The very first one crab What's juice. Crab juice? Like a crab, but runnier. Because I'm thinking... Want to try some? Maybe we need to uh, combine yep. all of them together and give it to that guy down there and then have him Cheers. just pass out, like, completely from the <sighs> disgusting flavor of all that. Ugh, crabby. 
Okay, let's see, uh, when's the next race? When's the next race? When the runners are ready. Be a pal and check on them, will you? Oh, okay. Through the curtain downstairs. The password is uppercase R, exclamation point, lowercase D, lowercase X, five, lowercase P, uppercase F, two, lowercase Z. Oh my, my god. My mother's maiden name. You guys think that's a joke, but there used to be, Stay uh, lucky. Lucky. The, that DRM crap back in the day where you had to enter that anytime you wanted to put it on your computer. I'm so glad that's not in there anymore. Let's go talk to this guy and give him the right password. Hopefully there's not a whole bunch of that I have to look through to pick that one out, because I'm not going to What's the password? That. Uppercase, yeah, there we go. R, exclamation mark, lowercase d, lowercase x, 5, lowercase p, f, 2, lowercase z. Come in. Z, huh? So she's uh, Canadian? Okay, we'll go through. I'm going to give these guys drinks. Yeah, that's how it's going to work. Let's take a look around. What is this over here? I think those are the treadmills they race on. Oh, yes, perfect. I better not. Why not? There are big talkers all over the place. I'd better not. Okay, she won't let me interact with any of that. I guess for the toffs. I can't do that. What about this? It's a ribbon from one of the rosettes. Let's go ahead and snag that. That's pretty. All right, empty stall. I wonder if that one was the Baron's. He must have won loads of prizes. What about uh, anything else? We got some water over here. Let's. That's hot water for washing, I suppose. You say washing butt? Washing butt, huh? Okay, uh, we're not going to talk to any guys just yet. Wow, they have everything here. I'm not thirsty. How about the washing butt? What do I need to wash? What about this? I guess they need a lot of salt to maintain their physiques. That's way more than my recommended daily allowance. Uh, hairbrush? A big hairbrush. I'm not here to quaff your toffs. And this guy has something on his foot. Cuban heels. And I don't think he'd let me take his shoe. Okay, so we gotta talk to him. Let's talk to this guy. Hola, senorita. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. You like this hat? It's fine. It's a gift from Sultan of Malaria. We play lacrosse together. Okay, so uh, how did you end up here so anyway? So anyway. You like my cigar? Why? Did Captain Fancy Pants of Poshland give it to you? <laughs> no. Captain Fancy Pants and I, we do not speak. Oh my god. Okay, uh, tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. You like this hat? It's fun. It's a gift. We play. Okay, so he's going to go through the same line. So what about how did you end up here? How did you, you end up You like my shoe? What? It's custom made, lightweight, tanned, manatee hide. Sounds nice. Um, okay. So, anyway. You like- Why? No. Captain- Alright, so that's all he's gonna tell us Bye. about himself. Let's talk to the uh, general over here. Admiral, actually. Oh, deepest shame. Uh, hello? Oh, blackest night. I'm Nelly. I'm Nelly. Oh, confound this mortal clay. This weary heart. These tiny legs. He's got a case of the soliloquies. <laughs> okay. Hark, my lord. What's this? A young pirate bride approacheth. Stop all that. What's up with you? I beg your pardon. My athletic failures weigh heavy upon me. Uh, how did you end up? Uh, how can you... No. Let's do the uh, athletic failures. Athletic failures? My dear, I have never won a race. Ooh, what I would give to win a race at last. I thought he won the last one that the guy who ended up uh, taking all the money on. Uh, how about uh, the Toph races? How did you end up in the Toph races? Mutiny, mutiny. Stranded on this wretched isle in squalor and shame. Never to return to civilization. Ah, oh, never mind, eh? Hmm. Hey, can you give me the King's shilling? I suppose I'm still technically an officer, but forgive an old tactician. What do you offer in exchange? That's, uh, that could be a good way to go. What about, I could write a rap song about you. No, that's not going to work. Polish your medals. He doesn't have any other ones than the one he's wearing. I could help you win a race. Yeah. I could kick you until you do it. <laughs> that is the pirate's way right there. No, let's, let's go. I can help you win a race. I could help you win a race. Well, now, that's intriguing. 
With your help, I could begin an epic training montage. Blood, sweat, tears, until I finally overcome my demons and win. Or we could cheat. <laughs> yes, let's do that. I need to find ways to slow down the other toffs. Okay, so I'm going to have to do something to that guy's leg, his shoe. Put some, like, bubble gum on it or something like that, I bet. Let's talk to this guy, the guy that looks like Mozart. See what he has to say. Are you some kind of clown? What are you eating? How did you come down in the world? How come you beat uh, Woe Be Gone? Hmm. I guess we're going to ask if he looks like a clown. Are you some kind of clown? Men, no. I am a French comte. If you say so. <laughs> what are you eating? What are you eating? Chocolat, mademoiselle. The food of the gods. Can I have some chocolate? Can I have a chocolat? Uh, no, they are all for me. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, chocolat, huh? Let's see. Um, how did you come how down? How did you come down in the world? Revolution. Driven from my home. But at least I saved my neck. I think you left your chin behind. He doesn't have multiple ones. How come you beat Wobegon? Uh, the Sharkies, of course. The little liqueurs, they give me the energy to run. I guess that's why sport events are all sponsored by junk food. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so... Maybe he's the one we give the liquor to? I don't know, we'll have to kind of think about that. We need to get chocolate from him, though. Maybe we can give it to the other guy. Au revoir. Need to find some way to get it, though. Let's talk to... Uh, yeah, this guy over here, Malroy. Hello, I'm Nelly. Hello, I'm Nelly. Is this a pirate I see before me? Yes, what's your name? I am Laird Mallory Cavendish. I see. What's a lad? Like a lord, but more drunk. How'd you end How up here? How did you end up here? Oh, it's an old story. Drink, gambling, deep fried foodstuffs. But after all that's happened to me, I never forgot the Cavendish clan motto. What is this? What's what? Like, uh, okay, so what's the secret of your success? What's the secret of your success? Keeping cool in this tropical climate. A kilt allows zephyrs to circulate in my regions. Yuck. And of course, I drink a lot of fluids. Hydration is key. I'll get you a drink. Oh yeah, that sounds perfect. I'll get you a drink. Something to help you cool off? Well, a wee drop of scotch wouldn't go amiss. Okay, um... Bye! I think... Ah, you're away. Yeah, bye. <laughs> I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. And uh, on the next episode, we're going to continue right where we left off. I do have the drinks down here. I just kind of have to remember which one of them, I think Butterscotch, is the one he's asking for. But we might be able to combine these together or something along those lines. Again, if you do enjoy these uh, videos, hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely helps grow the channel. But more than that, guys, if you like the game, go check it out on Steam. It's still early access. Pretty cool game. I think uh, I'm, I'm greatly enjoying this so far. Brought to you by Application System Heidenberg. Sells for $19.99 normally, but right now it's on sale 15% off for $16.99. Hit that little like button on Steam. Write a little review, even if it's something as simple as saying, hey, I like this game. It looks very cool. I can't wait to play it. It lets other people know about it and lets other people find it a little easier. So, again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time.